Good morning. Good morning. It is Sunday. It is. Oh, I never changed the date. What day is it? <laughs> it is Vlogmas Day 17. It's Vlogmas Day 17. I'm getting ready to get up and run to Target. And I'm going back to reading for 15 to 20 minutes every morning when I get up. Not searching on my phone. I got myself an early Christmas present. You know what I was thinking? How many people, how many older women put stuff under the Christmas tree for themselves? So like I was thinking about my video, what I got for Christmas for 2016. And I was just like, how much of, how much, I wonder how many other women put stuff under the Christmas tree for themselves because when you don't get it and then you find it on sale. So like this book was on my list. I know it was like the hot <clears throat> book over the summer, all the fashionista and style girls got it that every now and again men don't understand that women need to have a really great christmas too so like it can't i mean it can be but it can't always be like you take everything you have and you you know put into the kids and then you know the girlfriend the the, the wife the significant other gets like one or two like gifts and you're like wow i wish i could have had a better christmas deep down the side we might never say it but we feel it and so what happens, like, why does it not click in men like, you know what, this year I'm going to give her a really great Christmas. I don't know why men don't, no matter, you know, how much we we might say or, or what we don't say when you are connected and you read somebody's or, you know, read somebody's emotions like that. I just was thinking, like, how come men don't understand that? So I'm actually not going to go to Michael's. I'm going to go to Home Depot first because I, I, I think that I can get what I want from Home Depot. So let's go there first. Um, I need the the twine or whatever that goes into um, doing like the wreaths. I also forgot to put some kind of lip balm on my lips that are kind of dry. And when you jump up out of the bed and don't comb your hair, you can throw on a Santa hat. Thank God for um all right Christmas so we hat. are headed to home depot because i need to figure out if i can get the twine or whatever that stuff is that goes through my um that goes through the wreath done so i can get my my garland up on my i keep saying wreath but it really is garland um so i can get my garland up for on my stairwell i gotta get aja's um stocking because we don't have hers and then i'm just gonna hang that up right now there are currently no what's the names on the christmas tree so that's freaking me out just a tad all right let's see what we can get done at home depot i just gotta get one thing though i really just gotta get one thing okay i have no idea what i'm looking for let me just ask somebody because i'm about to be s stupid oh Hi. Yes, I need the those ties. Zip, zip ties. No ties that go into wreath, so you can tie stuff onto your wreath. They're like green. Uh, um, I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry. I need the ties so you can tie like ribbon into your wreath and your garland. Uh, it should be done with the if you do have them done with the. Tie. What are they called? Do you know what they're called? No. It's like some be. kind of tie. What in the world? Yeah, this is, I'm sorry. Uh, so the ties down there that tie the plants back to the sticks. This Are they green? The orange, um, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So I am up. I have to wash my hair. I've not. I wanted to make me, of course, my little. Christmas festive drink. 
Um, I have not sorted dinner yet, but I'm working on it. I know I'm making salmon. Mm. This is so good. So I have, oh wow, a huge piece of salmon. This is nine pounds that I'm going to. So I'm going to make some honey, garlic, um, salmon, stove top. And then I'm going to put that on some, I don't know if I'm going to make snap peas or I'm either going to make snap peas or I'm going to make string beans. I might make snap peas and I'm going to put that over some yellow rice. So like I know what I'm making, I just haven't started. When you cook salmon, it should be room temperature. So I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna season it, I'm gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes, and then I'm going to cook it. But I'm gonna make my, um, I'm gonna make my vegetables, the rice and the vegetables first. So let's get started cooking with love. Everyone's waiting for snow. Kids and grown up. The salmon is bad. Always smell your meat. So I'm going to take the salmon back to Giant and get another piece because I paid $24 for it. So now I gotta go get some more. So we're gonna run the salmon back to the supermarket. It's always something, I swear. This is why I started picking up cameras because it is always something. It's not me, I'm telling you it's not just me. The smell of the salmon can't get out my nose though, but I'm gonna go take it back. <laughs> well, it's Sunday and it would not be anything abnormal in the Davis household. <laughs> but for the camera to die out early, I'm sorry, every time I get in this car and start recording, I literally don't have my seatbelt on. Sorry about that. Yes, so as I was saying, it would not be the Davis household if It was not something. So I have taken a nap. I have regrouped just a tad. I am trying to get out of my Christmas funk. I will say that the thing that took me over the hump, or not the hump, that took me down was the Christmas tree dying. Um, and I did not, I don't know if that was like the trigger or what, but it was like the one thing that just literally <sighs> was like, never have I had a Christmas tree die before Christmas. I've had them not make it until New Year's, like died like right after Christmas. I've had them in my house until February. But what I've not done is I have not, should've went the other way, I didn't know this was gonna be this much traffic. Um, what I've not done is I've not had it die before Christmas and then decorate it and then have to take everything off. And so, you know, I'm a little bah, hum, bah, bah humbug, bah humbug. I really am and as a woman with children you know we have to suck up so many things that we have to get it together so my son came home and was like mommy are we going to get another tree after he woke me up out my sleep sorry I still have not combed my hair today sorry you guys gonna talk about me in these vlogs they are gonna be real and raw um, but I've not, literally, I've not combed my hair today, which I am. I told you I have to dye my hair because my grays are coming through. But on the way in, what I did not say is on the way in, like a car ran into another car, like two cars in front of me. And I saw it happening in slow motion because people just don't want to be courteous like now and give way. Everybody is in such a rush and... You know, they don't know we're vlogging while we're driving, hello. Um, <laughs> 
everybody is just in such a rush that nobody wants to give right away to like people who got to cross across a major street and so you're rushing against a red light for what and so a guy was coming out and the lady was rushing towards the red light and ran smack into him so as always things could be worse um and i have to learn how to be appreciative even when i'm having a really down time and know that i feel like the i'll be able to chew on that because it's not frozen anymore always keep a bag of frozen but frozen fruit in your freezer that's another one of my keep in freezers i'm gonna do a whole list or a whole like i'm gonna do a video on things that you should always have in your house and in your freezer in your in your house and it'll be part of it'll be like what's in your freezer what's in your refrigerator what's in your i'm gonna do a whole list of things for a january video for lifestyle all right let's get some let's get some salmon this man is looking at me like i'm retarded I don't wanna be riding my bike this time tomorrow. The weatherman says it's a go. All right, we have some fresh salmon. <laughs> oh, seatbelt. But look in the sky, I don't know. Santa, can you please make it snow? just gonna whip up a quick little marinade to put over top of the salmon I'm gonna let it sit for 10 more minutes it's almost room temperature so I'm just gonna pour instead of putting it in a bag I'm gonna pour the marinade on top of um, the salmon and then um, again just let it sit for 10 minutes before I go ahead and sear it for I think it should be anywhere from like five to seven minutes on each side salmon cooks really 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 quickly so you don't have to do too much to it and I'm not putting it on a grill pan I'm gonna use a regular non-stick pan all right so my marinade is going to be two tablespoons of honey so we're gonna eyeball it that's about two tablespoons one tablespoon of lemon you know what do I want to use lemon juice or lemon lime let's use lemon lime juice or you know what I'm gonna use a little bit of both how about let's just mix it we'll do a little bit of lime and then a little bit of lemon lemon All right, and then we're going to add in some garlic. In real life, all my ingredients are already out. So you can use fresh garlic, which most of the time I use. I just don't have any, so I'm using this. But we're going to put in... Um, just about that much. So I would say a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of garlic. So that about that much garlic um, in here. And again, if you don't have, um, if you don't want to chop your own garlic, you can just, I always keep minced garlic. It's one of my things to have. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in here. So... A little bit of salt and I'm gonna put a little bit because it's going over this huge piece of salmon and then a little bit of pepper because the salmon is already seasoned you don't need a lot and then let's just bring that all together 
And if you don't have a whisk, then you use a fork. And of course the honey is thick, so you really want to make sure you whip all of that together. And in the in a uh, real situation, you would have this in, you probably have to make a little bit more, but um, you'd have this in a Ziploc bag and then you would sit the salmon inside the Ziploc bag and work it that way. So we're going to pour this over our salmon make sure to try to get it all on there all right And again, you know, in a perfect situation, all of this would all med all marinate together because it runs off, but it would all be together. We're going to let this sit for like 10 minutes before we cut and sear in butter and um, olive oil. Oh, is it really too much to be asking for? All right, so two things that I want to do. I want to take this garland and put it along my stairwell. Um, but, well, I, I think I need to tie it. So I'm trying to figure out, because this is the first time I've ever done garland. So what I'm trying to figure out is if I tie it to the railing with this ribbon, will it stay? <laughs> Um, and do I put the stuff on it first or do I tie it, get it anchored and then start to embed the stuff because it's not laying flat, it's going up the railing. So I'm going to trust my instincts and I'm going to put this up on the railing some, at some point. So that's my first thing that I want to do. The other thing that I want to do is turn this into the ugly I keep looking up here sorry if you see me looking weird and looking up it's because I'm looking at my face in the viewfinder um, the other thing that I want to do is I want to um, turn this sweatshirt this uh, hoodie I didn't want to get a sweater I wanted to he has to wear an ugly sweater to school tomorrow so what I decided to do was get something that he's gonna wear again which is we're gonna make it an ugly hoodie sorry for moving to my own drum beat but that is what I do so I brought some things from the dollar store to put on it and I'm gonna call him down and have him help me figure this out but in front of me are all the gifts that I've been wrapping and all my stuff so that is my dilemma currently um, is to figure that out and finish cooking the salmon at the same time so let's start and get the let me I'm gonna get the garland tied to the steps first because that will help me like mentally get it together first so let's do that first we also need to turn the salmon let's do that as well now look at the sky so these first pieces I'm gonna let well, I have a choice. Um, stay a little dark, but I like the extra coating and crust at the bottom. And then I have three more pieces to make, so I'll make the kids a little lighter so they don't have their face turned up. All right, so I'm gonna sit you guys up here. And I'm gonna try to focus in this area over here to try to get the garland together. So hold on, let me try to get it. Just one reason why Santa, you can make it snow tomorrow Cause for Christmas Day Everything should be wild All glistening Alright, so 
So we are going to take this out and put it on and plate it, okay? And brightly aglow. All right, so you see me multitasking. I have two of the five, um, and I still have to clean that whole corner out. But I have two, sorry. I've got two of the five um, stockings hung, but I don't know if I'll be able to put anything else in there. So there's probably only gonna be a few little things that I'm gonna be able to put in there. The garland's not full enough. So we'll see. Let's just see. figure that one out okay so I have made a little bit of um, I guess a, a little bit of broth or a little bit of sauce sorry not a broth and so what I did was I combined um, in the olive oil that I cooked the salmon in I sauteed just a, a very little bit of um, garlic because there's garlic already on the salmon. Um, I added a little bit of butter. I added a little bit of chicken stock. And so I'm letting all of the um, all of that come together and then that can just be a little sauce for your to go on top for you to drizzle on top of your salmon. And so this is my semi blackened salmon. I like mine a little done. So I'm gonna let this boil just a little bit. I also, can you go get me the broom please? Can you go get me the broom so I can sweep in here? Um, I also, and put something on your feet. Um, did, I added my swag here and we're missing Aja's stocking because they didn't have it I went to the store earlier and they didn't have it so we're missing Aja stocking and I need to put something like right here so I've got this piece here this is bare there's a piece here so yeah and initially I was gonna hang this off my banister I don't know what I was thinking about I must think I live in a I must think I have 12 foot um ceilings and tall a really tall banister and I don't so I just put that on the inside of my door and of course the Christmas tree is still dead and bare. Yeah, it's done. So we still don't have a tree, but we I did get the stockings up. So I feel a little bit better. Um, and I got dinner done. So we have some yellow rice. And um, you can also thicken it. So if you wanted to thicken it, and make it a little less watery. Now mine is probably a little watery because I put in um, the chicken stock, which you can use instead of using, I mean broth. What you can do instead of putting chicken broth in is use chicken concentrate. I didn't have any more, so I improvised. Chicken concentrate is a little thicker, um, but I just didn't have any. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of quick mixing flour in there just to thicken it just a little and see if you can like it'll thicken it really quickly and you really only need a little bit so and that voila is how you can make a really quick sauce to go on your salmon I'm always in, trying to always figure out how to make sauce in the next couple weeks, though, I'm going down to that spice shop in Silver Spring and find a spice or two to bring back. Yep. And just like that, we have a little bit of broth. I mean, a little sauce to go on top of our food. Our meal is complete, Biba. We are good to go. All we got left to do is to make a ugly hoodie. An ugly hoodie instead of an ugly Christmas sweater. That is the last thing on our list, and we are done with this Sunday. 
sorry guys about the presentation, but this was the glaze I put on top of it with the rice and the string beans. And that is what the finished product looked like. And so would you give me on a scale of one to 10? Look, uh-uh, what'd you give me? A nine. You gave me a nine? I yeah. only got a nine tonight on a scale of one to 10 Christmas. for Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. Put lotion on. You ready to make your, um? oh, you know what? I need a couple more pins, I think. Let me see if I got a couple of more um, safe. Okay, how about don't step on the basket and crack it? Sheesh. A couple more safety pins. Oh, I know where they might be. So that I can... Um, I need like three or four more safety pins so that I can <sighs> pin this stuff to your jacket. I mean, to your hoodie. Are you talking to me? I'm talking out loud. So if you're not listening, then no, I'm not talking to you. All right, let's try to get this. Let's get this ugly sweater done. So we are using an ugly. We're making an ugly hoodie. We're not making an ugly sweater. Oh. All right. So this is a snow hoodie. It looks like, see how it's got? No, I know you would. So we're going to make it ugly. It's got a little mark on it, which I'm assuming is why it was on sale. But we're going to make it ugly. And then, so here's all the items. You want to pull the items out so you can look at them. And then I will figure out how to put them on without using needle and thread. I do have needle and thread though. Hey, Aj, can you bring me my little um sewing box that's in the bathroom? So I figured we could put that on the back. <laughs> do you want to put that on the back? Yes. Why is, why is this so big? I don't know. So the question is, will it fit on the back? <laughs> that is the question because you got the hoodie part. So I'm not even sure oh my gosh. how this is even going to fit on the back. It's going to have to hang. I need my sewing kit. The legs can hang. The legs are going to have to hang. Um... It has to be in the closet. We have little lights. Big, big lights. Big. Yeah, let's see if this opens up, though. I got this in the Dallas store. Let's hope this works. <sighs> what does it come with? It works? How does it work? I saw some people wear it. Yeah. It's like... Oh, right here. Here's the thing. Does it work? I don't know, baby. Oh, this got to come out. Ha ha ha! Yay! That's when we put the shoes in we can put it on the, the um... The Look, you got lights around you, my love! Guess what? Wait, turn the lights off. Oh, now you want to turn the lights off. Turn the lights off! Turn the lights off. Every night to my bed. I don't know the words. Get a chance to the little my little thing. Um, Jawan. Why we look like we in a horror movie? Every night I push to my bed. I need the scissors. You have me. What? It's no I don't see it. Okay. I think it's at school. Do we? Do you know where any um? Do you want? I need the scissors. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get this crap on here. We are on the struggle bus today. Let me be real clear. We're on the struggle bus. What'd you say? We're always on the struggle bus. We getting off this day on struggle bus. All right, so we have bells. You see the bells? All right. So you're gonna have to put this around your neck. So let's do the back first. So the back right now, I'm gonna put one. We only have five safety pins. 
Do I need a coat? It just sits on. And then my car. It's Here supposed to go. go somewhere. So oh I am going to Good morning, guys. put this on. Good morning, I got you. How are you doing? It's currently nice. not it's mm -hmm. seven a.m. You know this song? It feels like I'm going I off holiday. You know, you get up in the middle of the night to go to the set. airport what to catch a weird slide. I don't know. Like I don't know, know what that means. Oh, that's a bit better. But um, I don't want you to have blood on anything oh, on your too. set. You don't even know what the hell a set is. Don't say that no more. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, the question is, how do we get this elf on the back of this dag on? And he's got a little, um, like a thing. Today, we are filming another video yeah. for Dark Line. But this time, instead of for my channel, so we got Jingle Bells. It's actually for their channel. I might actually win. You might actually win. I want it to be Let's see. the best. Possibly. Might actually try not to put too many holes to this. I mean, it would be rude if I didn't do a cheeky morning back to it. I'll go get the Oh my gosh, it's so wet. Ow! It could be the best decision Ow. ever. The best way to wake myself up. Or this could be the worst decision. And I slip. Oh, my best way to wake myself up. Or this could be the worst decision. And I slip on the soaking wet. Oh, like, unbelievably oh. wet. Haha, <laughs> he's drunk! I break my leg back on the video. Then what? I take my bag off. Gotta be done. What? You gotta oh, hey, commit. You got yeah. You gotta bloody just do it, you know? Ah, oh, damn it. We need yeah, two. I'm actually worried. This is so. All right, so I'm worried we don't have enough safety pins. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh. We just need to put one in. We can. We could just put one in this hat. I'm gonna have to put one in this hat. That's just the back though. Okay, so let's open that up. Let's put that on. This? Mm hmm. This looks so good. There's more people working on the gym today. I've just sat down to have a call with my lawyer and my finance guys. As I'm the first one into the call, I've been put on hold. Hey, get this music, this hold music, and sit. Hey, hey, what, what? Okay. You stand here and close your eyes. Ready? Yeah, keep them closed. I'm gonna open the gym. Alright, so how are we gonna put it on here? Oh! It starts to look like a proper gym. Here, I'll you put ready? this part. There you go. Wow! I'll put this part around. It's looking good, isn't it? I'm not like Christmas changed, okay? It is! It's like we have to do a dance with the Christmas empty. Okay, so we're gonna put this on both sides, right? So we are we've run out of um, safety pins. So this is all we have done. <laughs> and uh, but are we excited? We think we're gonna win. He's more excited about that, you right? All right. So mommy is gonna try to find safety pins around the house. Wish me luck. Otherwise, I'll be at Walgreens at six seven o'clock tomorrow morning trying to do this I'm not going tonight I don't even feel like going it's time for you to relax and get ready for the bed so I'm gonna try to find some of that and uh, get these orders done guess what mama found some pins so now I can finish this ugly fine I can finish it. I can finish it. <sighs> Come here. 
I know. It's snowing everywhere else. I legit think we get in the car, we go find some snow. And number 10. So as much as I want to relax, I can't. I had to put um jewelry orders together from my jewelry show on Wednesday. So um, I'm late. I should have already had it done. And so usually I invoice the next day, but I have not. So now I'm going to quickly put together inventory, I mean put together orders um, and invoice and then get them ready and the invoices are paid. Should be white, all glistening and brightly aglow. For Christmas Day, Santa, won't you make it so? I can make angels in the snow. thing that I did not um, do was wash my hair I did not get to that but it is 10 o'clock and I'm tired I'm getting ready to send out a few invoices all the jewelry's packaged up and separated and ready I'm gonna send out invoices and then I'm gonna go to bed so thank you guys for rolling with me today on vlogmas day 17 it's been a long day baby it's been a long day baby i don't know why i keep talking like that but we're literally i'm literally getting ready to work for like a quick minute i'm gonna send out invoices and then i'm out be riding my bike this time tomorrow the weatherman says it's a go But look in the sky, I don't know Santa, can you 